Hey, what's up everyone? Matt here. So today I got a uh, magic set review of Marvin's Magic Box of Tricks. So this is for a younger magicians type thing, okay? So it's pretty cool. Uh, tell me what y'all think about it in the comments down below. I know y'all like the Magic Set Reviews. You know, I started this channel on Magic Set Reviews and so forth. It was more like a uh, doing tricks and Magic Set Reviews and so forth. That's what took this channel off. But that's not all this channel is about. I do love doing tricks. I actually, actually my first video was actually uh, tricks. It's basically just me performing tricks and so forth. It wasn't until I actually got a hold of the Now You See Me 2 magic set that actually blew my channel up. I don't know if anybody, uh, y'all actually knew that or not, but that's actually what made my channel actually grow because nobody ever did it in English and it just kind of took off from there. So uh, thanks a lot for y'all support, everybody. I appreciate it so much. Anyways, we're gonna get on with the review as fast as possible. If you're new to the channel, Please hit the subscribe button. Please join me on this incredible journey of uh, growing with this. You know, I'm still working out of a lot of kinks and stuff like that. I do want to change a lot of things for this channel to get more views, get more subscribers. Just please, 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 if you're watching it, please watch, leave comments, and then subscribe. It really helps out a lot. I mean, I know y'all are watching. I get more, um, I get more views actually from uh, non-subscribers than I do subscribers, which is really weird. I don't know if this is like a YouTube thing or how YouTube does their thing now, but. Uh, I get more views from um, non-subscribers than anything. So if you are subscribed, please just show me that you're still here. Show me some love. That's right. Give me some. Give me some bromance. You know. All right. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, show me some love. You know. I know. You're, I know you're watching. I know you're watching creepily. All right. But anyways, I appreciate y'all support always, and thank you. And on with the review. Hey everyone, what's up? So I'm here today with Marvin's magic box of tricks for young magicians that's right so this right here is more of a magic set for younger magicians so if you're if you're a little younger I would say about like eight and under maybe nine and under this is a perfect colorful magic set for a uh, very very true beginner okay so uh, this is a good magic set uh, it's very good it's very colorful I've had this magic set for a little while now uh, this is more or less just a collector item for me but let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, perfect. So the box on the back, it has everything. It shows you everything that's inside the kit. So it's got a nice little picture of everything too, by the way. So moving forward, all right, you get your nice little booklet. Marvin's Magic, he's a, he's a uh, Marvin. Marvin is a very good uh, creator from, uh, I think he's from uh, Europe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Britain. Um, He's a British magician, a European uh, magician. So, yeah, uh, he, he, he does really good magic sets. He does really good uh, tricks and even professional magic kit or uh, magic tricks, okay? So, uh, the case is just like this right here. So, you basically get a really nice setup. So, that's the cool thing about it. It gives you a really nice organized case setup just like this right here. Everything has its own spot and so forth. It's got a nice little plastic film like most magic sets do to fit over it to protect it. Now, inside you're getting these items, okay? You get a lot of variety of items um, and a couple things that I have not seen in magic set like your uh, Chinese uh, coins, okay? So this right here is actually a professional trick uh, with actual metal coins, but they give you little cardboards, uh, cardboard pieces and uh, they, it is a good quality. It's not like cheap cardboard. It's pretty hard. Um, and you can do like little uh, color changing uh, routines where you make one teleport in, uh, teleport into the other hand, make the green one jump to the right hand and so forth. You get multiple different uh, coins to do the routine with. So like I said, there's actually a professional version of this right here where you can make the Chinese coins jump from hand to hand and teleport into your pocket and so forth. Okay, it's a color changing coin trick. So this right here uh, lays down the fundamental principles of this trick in this kit. So that's kind of cool. I've never seen that in a magic set before. This is the only magic set I've actually seen that in. So um, moving forward, what is a couple other things that I have not seen in other magic sets that's in this one? Um, these right here, these prediction uh, coins, okay? So this right here alone is actually kind of neat. Um, 
these right here are uh, prediction coins. So basically what you can have uh, have a spectator do is uh, literally pick one item. So you can show the coins to where you can't, uh, the, or the little cardboard cutouts to where you uh, you don't see the items, but you can have the spectator like pick an item on there and then if they see their item on there, eliminate one by one and you can remember just by knowing the pattern and how the trick works what they predict. So this right here is basically a prediction trick. I've never seen this in magic sets before. This is the only magic set I've actually seen this before. So this is kind of, it's actually really clever actually. It's really cool how it works and I'm sure you can do this with another, um, with your own household items and create your own version of this without having these little coins or tokens, okay? So that's pretty cool. What else have I never seen in a magic set before that's in this kit? Uh, the wonder blocks, okay? So, this is kind of cool. Uh, excuse me, try to get it out of the little box here. Um, this right here is a really cool trick. Um, this is called the Incredible Block Escape, okay? So, you, your book is very detailed. So, this right here is the Incredible Block Escape. You get all this and, uh, and so forth and other things. This is very detailed instructions too, by the way, in this uh, manual. Um, so, the Block Escape. So, basically, you can literally take this spike pull it out, okay, and then uh, you can have the spectator secretly pick two blocks, okay, so they're going to, they, they pick two blocks, or whatever, let's just say, just that random, and you slowly start putting them back in the, uh, the case without looking, without them looking, and then you're going to basically place them in just like so, okay, and then, after you get all of them lined up, just like so, you're gonna close the box, okay? It's a pretty simple trick. And then you're gonna take the uh, the spike and you're gonna place it straight through all the blocks, just like that. And remember, keep in mind, whenever you're doing this, you're not gonna know actually what blocks they chose, okay? So they're gonna choose two blocks at random and then you're gonna secretly just put them all, they're, they're gonna hand them back to you without you knowing, and you're gonna mix them up without you looking and they're gonna put them back in the pile and they're gonna know and then you're gonna start putting every one of them back in the thing and then whenever you go to throw it out, just like this right here, only two blocks actually shoot out and it is the chosen blocks, okay? All the other blocks are secretly locked in with a spike and it's like the two chosen ones penetrate. So basically they're gonna they're gonna pick two blocks, they're gonna give them to you and then you're gonna shove the spike to them and then their two blocks alone are actually gonna go straight through the spike. So that's kind of a really cool trick actually. I've never seen that in other magic sets. I like that a lot. Um, what else you get? Oh this is a very classic in Magic. This is the, uh, they call this the cat, the cat clip card though. So literally you get a cat as the clip and this is basically just the optical illusion trick. This is in a lot of Magic sets to where you can tell them to look at the queen, tell them to clip it with the, the cat and then lo and behold, they go to try to clip it and it is not on the queen. So this is a very cool optical illusion trick that's in uh, quite a few little Magic tricks. Pretty good little quality, it's pocket size, so you can carry it around with you if you want to do the trick. Um, another trick that I never see in Magic Set is this right here, the Hypnotized Spring Ring. This, is when it, this right here was in another Magic Set, actually, that I just did not too long ago, okay? Um, so, um, but I don't see this in a lot of Magic Sets. This, I only have two Magic Sets that this trick is actually in out of all the ones that I have. So this is pretty cool, this is just the Hypnotizing Ring. Um, and this is basically just kind of like a little bet, pretty much, uh, to where you can actually just bet the spectators or whoever to uh, try to get the ring off the spring, okay? So literally try to get the ring off the spring. Ha, <laughs> it's kind of funny little saying there. So basically you have them place the ring on just like this right here, and then you tell them you're going to hypnotize it just like that. You hypnotize the ring, and they cannot get it off at all. It will literally not come off the ring. And you can bet the money, but look, it's actually kind of easy to snap your fingers just like this right here, and then just lift up and pull, and then the ring comes right off. So this is a very, very cool trick. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, what else you get in this kit, okay? So you get your uh, cups and balls. And keep in mind, this is for younger magicians, okay, everybody? So if you are a collector of magic sets, you just like to have magic sets, don't get me wrong. Now, these, these tricks can be pretty baffling if you if put into the hands of a very experienced magician. I will say that because I have done some of these tricks as I've gotten better in magic and I've blown adults away. They never questioned that it was a color of something colorful kitty looking or anything like that. And that's the truth. 
Okay, so uh, they, they were just blown away by it. So, I mean, don't ever underestimate these, you know, amateur beginner magic sets. But the cups and balls, they're very colorful. So you get a red, yellow one, just like this right here. They're good quality. Plastic Marvin's Magic always does pretty good quality uh, props, okay? Uh, the balls are kind of like this right here. So they're a little, they're basically little pom-poms. So they're yellow, oop, lost that one. So they're basically little yellow pom-poms, okay? You get all those for your cups and balls. Um, you get your uh, talking die trick. This is in a lot of magic sets. I've never, I mean, every, almost every magic set has this. This is where you can take the die and then um, have the spectator uh, place it into the chamber with the, with the whatever they choose up to. You don't look, you close the canister, and then you can magically predict what they chose. So it's got the talking die trick. Um, what else does it come with? Oh, it comes with your spikes through the coin trick. So this is a very classic, it's almost in every, I'm not even going to fight trying to get that out of there. Uh, but it's basically the spikes through the coin tricks, you get the little plastic medallion, you can uh, replace it with a actual 50 cent P. And then you get your spikes over here that's all neatly lined up and organized for you. They're just standard plastic spikes like in most magic sets, okay, except for they're yellow. Okay, what else does it come with? Um, rabbits. So this is kind of cool. This doesn't really come in a whole lot of magic sets. It just depends on which when you get, but you do get ra a rabbit themed sponges. So the sponge balls are rabbit themed and then you get like uh, three little baby rabbits so you can do like a little family and produce them in their, in their hand. So that's kind of cool if you like rabbit sponge balls. I'm going to say sponge balls that you can learn. It teaches you sponge ball routines but with rabbits. Uh, as far as cards goes, this this magic set does not come with an actual deck of cards, okay? So it doesn't come with a deck of cards, like I said, this is for younger magicians, but it does come with some gimmick cards, okay? So it does come with a blank card. Now the cards kind of look like this right here. It does scream very kitty magic set, so that's the thing, but I think it's kind of cool. It's actually kind of neat though. And uh, it does come with a really cool routine to where you can show the kings like this right here. You can show the kings or get rid of the face and so forth and then add on the blank card just like this right here. So you can add on the blank card and then um, wave your hand over it, whatever you want to do. And then all of a sudden all the cards become blank. So it does come with a cool routine like that. So you can literally start out, um, re uh, re let's reiterate on that. Uh, you can show the blank cards just like this right here and be like, watch, I'm going to show you something really cool, really cool card trick. I got some blank cards here. They're not printed yet. And then you can go and place down your blank card just like this right here. But if I add one of the kings, one of a, an ink card just like this right here, and I add it to it just like so, snap your fingers, then it actually prints and makes an actual full deck of, of royal flesh kings and so forth. So that's a really cool, really cool concept trick. I actually like that a lot, actually. Um, it's very clever. So it does come with those little uh, gaff cards like that, okay? Um, what else is in here? I think it's about it, actually. Uh, so, oh, it does come with a wand. So, this right here is a wand. You can, uh, this is a grow, one of those little growing wands. So, you can actually take the wand and then extend it and make it grow. You can do all your simple wand tricks. You can do like a little flip wand trick and make it like vanish just like that. Or whatever you want to do with the wand. It does come with a wand. So, that's kind of nice. Um, and like I said, the booklet is very, very, very colorful. It's very detailed. Marvin, Marvin does a really great job of explaining everything, and it's even got some extra tricks and extra routines that you can learn in here. Okay, so overall, what do I think of this magic set? Easily, hands down, I think it's a fantastic magic set. I think it's great for beginners. I think it's a wonderful way to start out into magic if you're very young. I mean, it's very colorful. It's very bright. It's uh, full of it. So I'm going to easily give this magic set, I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. And the price is not that bad either. I think this magic set goes for like $20, $22, $25 if I'm not mistaken. It may, it may, it's, it's around that ballpark, okay guys? So it's not too bad. You can find this on Amazon or eBay. Pretty cheap, pretty easy, okay? So uh, 9 out of 10 for this magic set. It's a great magic set. If y'all want to collect it, go get it. Go check it out, pick it up, and let me know what y'all think about it in the comment box below. Let me know what y'all think about this magic set, all right? And see you later.